gotta do that hat because I need something chilled but cute. Welcome to a start of a new vlog. Today is Saturday. The date is the 16th of November. Today is Saturday, the 16th of November. And, uh, we are going hiking with Bay. It's actually the first time we're hiking together. So we, yeah, we came to hike and just get our bodies moving, okay? So welcome to a start of a new vlog. Thank you for tuning in, you guys and um welcome to nice base channel <laughs> it's a start of a new vloggy vlog so let's go get in touch with nature exciting <laughs> let's go guys Stand opposite the wind. Yeah. So you must stand where the wind comes. So the, that thing is a shabai. It's in a shower. Oh, makes sense. Okay, yeah, thank you. We are learning. Now you have to speak English. <laughs> Tina Sisulu and Risi, at Johannesburg. In Joburg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your shop? Yes, yes, it's our store. It's Sneaker Crown. Okay, show the them the your, your products. Yeah, this is Sneaker Crown. It's in yeah. all types of shoes. Yeah. Suede, leather, velvet, plastic, rubber, nupak. You wash with the same thing. No okay. need for water. Shesha gas. Okay. okay. And the pricing? Tell okay. them the pricing. Okay, so it's 150. Yeah. Then Lana is 250. Yeah. And then Lana is 500. So yeah. you buy one, you get one free for the day. All right, thank okay. you. Thank They'll you. see. Do you have an Instagram where uh, they can follow at, you? At Sneaker Crown SA, okay. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We are done with the hike. We are done. We did 10.7 kilometers. 
so proud of us. That was not the plan. I think we didn't even have a proper plan in place. We just thought we were just gonna hike. We we're just gonna hike. And we did 10.7. I'm so proud. It's such a nice trail. And I was saying to Bay that um, I thought I didn't enjoy hiking because I've got a runner's mentality. As a runner, you always want to run. But today I'm reminded that I don't always have to run. So the walk was great. We are definitely going to do it again. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I'm officially in my hiking era, Kesana. <laughs> it was so nice. It was good, guys. Um, you must come and try it. We did the um, clip refill hike. Is it clip refill? Yeah, I think it's clip refill. And it was nice to meet another Sabi. Two consecutive days. Love it. Another Sabi. Thank you so much for saying hi. <laughs> All right, guys, my battery is flashing, so I'm gonna close the vlog here for today and I'll catch up with you guys. Should I close it for today? I don't know, but let's see what happens. If I don't, we are stepping out, and I wanted to show you my outfit before we go. This is a dress. Gotcha, what's the name of this shop? Oh, guys, if I remember, I'll put it somewhere here. If I remember, I always forget the name of this shop. And I've got my sunnies from yesterday. These are the sunnies that I got from a Chinese store. My cute slides from Woolworths. And my favorite bag. I love this bag because it fits my camera also when I vlog. So we are stepping out. We're going to see my in-laws. I doubt I'll vlog like properly, guys. I'll probably take snippets here and there. But it's still the same day, by the way. It's still the same day. We came back from hiking and we're literally just chilling and now we are stepping out guys we decided to stop by not we decided we had to stop by the shops because we went to buy umpago by Woolies. so we are done i'll show you guys what we bought when i get into the car before we before we exit and we are done and then we're going to the in-laws <laughs> and happy saturday guys i didn't say happy saturday happy saturday Get us it. Kimofaho, guys. This is what we got. It can be some <laughs> guava juice. Thank you, love. Some apples. It's also a tuba vlog. Some bananas. Coca-Cola <laughs> and then okay. and just a packet of sweets. If you're South African, you must know what patkos is. What? It's patkos. It's for my husband's aunt. She's traveling back to Emakaya Gonzo. So we're gonna say bye before she leaves. And some patella umpa. Something. So, for instance, 
In 2 Kings chapter 3, when they filled the valley full of ditches, right? God kept his promise. He said, you're not going to see any wind. You're not going to see any rain. Um, but I'm going to make your valley full of ditches, full of water. What happened was that the next morning, they woke up to their valleys being full of water. The water in these ditches was provisioned for them because it satisfied them. Keep it in here and lock it. Keep it in here. Don't knock it. Before you try. That you are our help. And we thank you, God that right now is advocating for us. We thank you that anywhere that the enemy is accusing us of anything, even if, even if it's true, we ask God that the Holy Spirit acts as a counsel of defense, which is the definition of the name comforter, to fight to fight for us and for our law. Father, you have said that we should agree with our adversary quickly, and so we agree with whatever the devil is. Sometimes you fall. Hello guys, hey nice again, welcome to another day on the vlog. Welcome you guys, today is Sunday and the time now is 22 4 
in the afternoon and i left you guys hanging yesterday but i did say that i will most probably not vlog and i didn't vlog because i was with my in-laws i have told you guys before that i'm not in the business of flashing the camera in people's faces i'm trying my best i'm doing my best but today is sunday and i'm cooking sunday course sunday food basically and i'm cooking the typical or traditional sunday course so what's on the menu is chicken potato salad chakalaka beetroot and cabbage i asked my husband to go and get us meat in cabbage because we didn't have that and that is what is on the menu this beautiful sunday and i'm so bummed a little bit because the, the the lighting in the kitchen was so beautiful until the weather decided to change but it's fine it's not that terrible now and um, yeah that's what i'm doing guys that's what i'm cooking and happy sunday i didn't make it to church again i'm definitely going next week sunday did you go to church let me know in the comment section down below did you go to church <coughs> how funny did that <laughs> sorry guys and the other day i was watching alia alia's face i don't know if you guys know alia's face and she was doing a travel vlog in madagascar oh my gosh like alia sold madagascar to me you know she sold it to me you know i've watched madagascar like the, the movie the cartoon you know the animated madagascar but i've never really thought as madagascar as a dream travel destination i've never guys if you have please let me know in the comment section down below until i saw alia's vlog and i said girl you sold me madagascar okay add it to the bucket list to the travel bucket list <laughs> yeah so it was very nice it was very interesting I, I i mean it looked so beautiful and i love how she explained the travel vlog that it was not the i think in the beginning of the vlog she said this is not the not high-end what do they call it like a bougie expensive travel vlog she made it very clear from the onset that it's more on the affordable side which i think captured me that's what drew my attention to the vlog actually uh, well some of it <laughs> so yeah it was very nice i loved the vlog and i'm sold i really like i enjoyed watching madagascar from her point of view or from her lens it was so so nice like i'm sold i i feel like i need to watch that vlog again <laughs> but it, it looked very 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 nice and who else was i watching that i wanted to tell you guys about i forgot now who else i was watching that i really really loved Ah, but anyway guys yeah that's what i'm doing today it's sunday and i'm just cooking sunday course and we're just gonna chill with my husband i asked him to buy yeah uh, he just came back from the shops i asked him to buy as i just mentioned just cabbage white pepper for the cabbage at home this is how we cook it we cook it with just with salt and white pepper and I asked him to bring some dessert <laughs> because I feel like having dessert in Dombi, okay? I feel like having dessert. It's a proper Sunday Sunday course setup, you know? It's a proper Sunday course setup, guys. And I asked him to bring a small onion ice cream because it's gonna go to waste. We hardly eat ice cream and jam. Onions, we're out of onions, and you guys know my neighbor and I are very neighborly. So I went to ask her for, for, for one onion while I wait for my husband to come back from the shops because I didn't want to wait for him for too long. And then I'm gonna make this chicken as well. Yeah, guys, the Sunday course thing is reminding me of home. You know, I remember when we were still, I was still in primary school, my sister and I were still in primary school. This is how home used to be like when my parents were still married. My mom would cook and we would have dessert like that's my memory that's my childhood memory and i remember my cousins because we, we, we grew up very very close with my cousins i remember my cousins um came to visit and my mom cooked up a storm of course and there was dessert as well so my mom was a type of mom that said you finish your food you don't she doesn't cook and she dish up for you and then you leave the food like half a plate or something you must finish the whole thing she will sit there with her belt and say finish the food otherwise otherwise so my cousins that sunday came to visit i think they were just passing by and my mom dished up for all of us and she was in front of all of them i think everybody in this house is finishing their food nobody's gonna walk out of this house without finishing their food 
we finished the food and she gave us dessert after that yo oh my gosh guys my mom was hectic and then when we went out to play after we finished eating yo know, the way we were complaining and not joking but we were complaining but joking at the same time laughing that yo know, our stomachs are so full what can we do can we just take the stomachs out and put them on the side and go and play but that was us growing up that was my mom guys she made sure that you eat okay you finish your food you don't throw away food or you don't say i'm full in whose house <laughs> all right guys let me finish cooking up a storm i'm just making the meat and the cabbage and i'm done and then i will show you guys and also you guys if you are enjoying this video so far and you are like who is this girl i love her vibe Please subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and join the Nice Again family. Don't just love my vibe and don't subscribe. such a busy day yo it was such a busy day for me yo, I was saying to Javi I've been up since I woke up I've been up from the time I woke up I literally just sat down like an hour ago uh, we were busy I did show you guys in the morning that we were washing the the, the couch the um, covers the couch we were watching we were washing that we're washing that because they are dirty <laughs> they need to be cleaned and i will not recommend getting a couch that requires you to remove the covers to be washed personal is not my thing no more <laughs> no more it was the first and last time i do that to myself but anyway that's how we clean the couch we have to take off the covers and wash them and we were cleaning the whole house that's how busy i was and then i went on to make sunday course and the time now is 20 past 6 in the evening so I'm only gonna literally just chill and sit down and relax since this morning it was such a busy 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 morning but I'm glad it was productive at least I managed to do what I needed to do today what had to be done today I, I managed to do that and yeah now we're about to have supper the first meal of the day <laughs> I was snacking just in between. I didn't have anything else. I was just snacking with crackers and a bit of tuna. And um, guys, I was tuning in, not tuning in, guys, I was watching Instagram stories and I came across Google stories today. And firstly, let me say that I was not aware that Komoto and Google are no longer friends until somebody mentioned it. I just don't remember who and where we were. And then I was like, really? I was not even aware that Komoto and Google are no longer friends. Weird. But then today I came across Google stories and apparently she was being bullied because um, she, Google was being bullied because she didn't attend Khomoso's wedding. I'm like, Khomoso's wedding? Khomoso got married? I had no idea. I'm like, which world do I live in, guys? <laughs> but you know what? To my defense, I've, I've been a bit scarce on Instagram, especially and TikTok and all of that. I've been scarce. But anyway, I was not aware that Khomoto was getting married. I saw Tia posted her and her husband, and I, I didn't know they attended Khomoto's wedding. And also, I'm like, is Khomoto not married? All along, I thought she's married. I was so confused, guys. You guys should have seen my confusion. I was glued to my phone. Like, what is going on? This, like, I was very confused. But what I wanted to say is, guys, we need to be kind human beings. We need to be a little bit kind. Why are we bullying Gugu that she didn't attend Khomoto's wedding? We don't know what is going on. Now she had to go and share the details of what transpired, you know. Why are we bullying people? Guys, I mean, you can even with your own mother. 
You can govern with your, your own father. You can govern with your own sister. Why is it such a big hoo-ha when it's influencers or popular people? Why is it such a big Why do we do that? Who called? And guys. Hey, and we always say seasons end. You're not supposed to be part of the season in my life. Things like that do happen. Why must we bully Google? Mm -mm, guys, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's nice. And uh, funny, Joey and I had that conversation on that video that we did for her, recorded for her channel. I'll link it up here so you guys can see what we said about um, influencer friendships. And because we brought this friendship to you guys, you guys didn't ask for this friendship, we get it. But guys, I don't think it's the right thing to bully anyone or to talk down or ugumtuga, uguguavanto, or whatever the story is. But Klabene, and komutu has got her side of the story, gugu has got her side of the story. And we know how those things always go. The truth will always be somewhere in between, right? But what club any for whatever reason, even if it's whatever, but I just don't think it's right. Korean then end up bullying one party. Whereas we don't even know who's wrong. Even if we do know, why must we bully each other? Let's just be kind. Let's just be kind, guys. Hi, Bandu. Anyway. Catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello guys. Hey nice again. Welcome to another day on the vlog. Today is Monday, the 18th of November. I last vlog with you guys yesterday. We had a lovely day yesterday, didn't we? <laughs> a lovely busy day. So I'm actually off to gym, but I'm first going to start at the mall. Just to post this belt. Oh my gosh, hold on. Just to post this belt, Korea the belt, to send it to to Korea the belt, to send it to Nomzamu Mwani. Some of you guys might know Nomzamu Mwani, some of you might not. I will tag her channel somewhere here. So you can go and check out her channel and if you like her content. Please do the right thing and subscribe to her channel. So she saw this belt on my vlog and she said to me on the comment section that she was struggling to get the exact belt and the comments were sort of, I don't know, not very informative. <laughs> so I offered to buy the belt for her, so I did and she sent me money to send it to her obviously. So yeah, she bought the belt herself. I did buy it with my own money. You guys get it she bought it she sent me money to buy it for her but i had already bought it for her then she just sent me money afterwards then i'm going to send it to korea i'm going to korea the belt to her via pepsi pepsi and then i'm off to gym i don't know if i'm gonna vlog with you guys at the gym because i think there's gym content that i didn't use on the previous vlog that i want to insert those clips on this vlog but let's just see how it goes and uh, we'll sort that out later but so this is my hair it's shrunk because i put water on it i have to moisturize my hair guys when you've got your natural uh, natural hair out like this you have to moisturize it um yeah and i'm not doing the going to get it in i'm not braiding my hair in the evenings before i sleep because i just don't like that <laughs> i'm lazy <laughs> Alright guys, let's go to the shops and then go to the gym. So welcome to another day on the vlog vlog. again welcome to another day on the vlog vlog i just came came back from gym i'll show you guys my gym fit now i just came back from gym and today is wednesday yesterday i thought today was thursday it was so confusing it was very confusing for me but that's because i'm on leave did i tell you guys that i'm on leave I am on leave. I'm back to work on Monday the 21st. Today is the 20th. 
of November so welcome to another day on the vlog I went to gym and from gym I went to the salon just to wash my hair because I'm going to braid my hair I'm just gonna do corn rows so yeah that, that it was an impromptu decision because I've got a wedding that I'm attending on Saturday and also it was a plan to plait the hair because I, I don't want to just um, keep my hair as an afro you know yeah guys so welcome to another day on the vlog I had to share awesome awesome uh, workout at the gym I had a great great time at the gym I walked to the gym today I didn't run um, because why did I not run I think I was lazy I don't know if it was laziness but I chose to walk instead of running and then when I got there I did leg day but I wasn't vlogging at the gym because we already have gym content on this vlog do we we do I did leg day but I did mild leg day not heavy weights rather light weight instead of heavy weights because after that I was doing a class and the plan was to walk back home um, yeah I did leg day which was nice and then I went to do a box class for like an hour 15 minutes and then I yeah that was my workout today of course I did about 10-15 minutes of abs and then I went to the salon so to wash my hair but now I want to wash quickly and then I'm going to the other salon and I'm taking you guys with me I'll be vlogging I want to charge this camera as well we're gonna do those corn rolls I also wanted to do my lashes as you guys can see they are falling apart <laughs> but my lash tag is um, busy with her personal stuff so I doubt I'll be able to see her today if not I will go tomorrow yeah I'll squeeze myself in tomorrow I've been on leave guys but it's not like annual rest leave I haven't been resting I took leave for other reasons but you know what I can't wait to take like a break just relax because I have not been relaxing but anyway I hope you are well I hope you are good and guys if you are enjoying this video so far and you are like who is this girl I love her vibe please subscribe to the channel and join the nicer gang family don't just love my vibe <laughs> the cool family I will appreciate to have you as part of my beautiful loving family also guys this is my gym fit I was not walking around like this of course I was wearing the other top um, a top on top yeah this is my gym fit looking and feeling so cutesy working extra hard this last month trying to make sure that when December clocks when December clocks my body is on clock <laughs> I'm pushing myself guys I've got weight to lose if I can just drop 5k's I'll be a very happy girl yeah but this is my gym fit guys I am done and this is my outfit literally just a all white outfit old t-shirt Mr. Price very old jeans Woolworths and very new <laughs> slides from Woolworths yeah let's go I've requested and my Uber is two minutes away let's go get this hair did Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my Guys, I am back but I'm also out. I'm going out again but I wanted to show you guys my pretty hair Ah, pretty good love this hair it's so cute inspired or influenced by Sino I don't know if you guys know Sino but I love love Sino I saw this on her said I gotta do that hair because I need something chilled but cute and this is chilled and cute but I'm back but I'm also off to back to the shops for 
three reasons. Oh, I thought electricity was off. <laughs> For three reasons, I need to. We don't have meat. So I also need to see if I'm just gonna get Nando's and then we can finish the food that we have. This is the Sunday gods that I cooked on Sunday. We still haven't finished that food. So I think this is gonna be the last day that we're eating the food because today is Wednesday. But the meat is finished. So probably just get Nando's because that's what Habi suggested. And then we're just gonna finish the food today. And I also need to get hmm, but I'll probably order Nando's uh, barking delivery. But I need to go to the mall for another for the second reason is I need to get a, a dress. I, I I did fit it the other day, but I didn't fit it with you guys. So I need to fit it again just to make sure. And then what else I need to, at the mall? Oh, a foundation because I've got a makeup appointment tomorrow. So I need a light foundation. I do have a light foundation, but I think I only have one. If not too light foundation the rest of my foundations are not light so i need a light foundation for this makeup client and what else do i need that's important to the shops or well, something else there was something something there was something else guys i just forgot i just forgot but i also wanted to show you guys this camera so i see the goodies are now using the action cameras and whatnot so this is a camera that my husband got for me for my birthday and i never give it, i never give it a time of day and um, solely because i've got a big camera so i didn't take this camera that seriously and um yeah i see the good is i'm now using these tiny cameras but my issue with this one is that it doesn't have a front viewer a front view it's only the back you know so it would have been nice if i could also see myself in front like the other cameras but I thought I should show it to you guys. He got it on Take A Lot. I don't have the link, but I'm sure if you search Volcano, as you guys can see, that name you'll be able to find it on Take A Lot if you are keen. But I would definitely be using that camera if you had a front view, guys. I promise you, because it's so tiny. And I was trying to record with it the other day, working around the mall. It's like nobody's going to see me, you know, if only it had a front view. But yeah, okay, let's go back to the shops. Not to go back, let's go to the shops and I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly I'm done at Mr. Price and for Sheena, I got the foundation. Let me walk into Woolworths and see what we can eat. I don't want Nando's. I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke. And I will try to fix what has been broken. Guys, I'm done. I think I was saying to you guys earlier that I'm done at for Sheena, Woolies, I didn't get the meat. It was late and I went to Nando's. So I grabbed some Nando's and guys the ladies at Foshini, the beauty counter, they were so nice. They were asking me about my channel because I quickly just took out my camera and I started recording because it was empty. And then they had plenty of questions. <laughs> but they were so nice. Very, very nice. So I'm waiting for her to fetch me and then we are going home. Guys, I'm back home. I know my eyelashes look like crazy. Please ignore them. <laughs> if you can, please do ignore them. I want to show you what I got from Mr. Price. I got this bag and I got a portable size bag for the all white event. Also, I just don't have like a cute bag like this, you know. It was 169 
from Mr. Prezi. Everything is from Mr. Price. And I also got this bag, also from Mr. Price. I was one fifty nine. I just didn't want to take this. I was hoping they would have it in black. They didn't have it in black because I've got most bags in this color. But it's fine. It's cute. And both of them, I put my camera inside to see if it fits in both of them. The camera does fit. And what else did I get? That's just underwear, actually. Oh, it's underwear in these shoes. The rest is underwear, which I'm not going to show you. And these shoes that I got. I don't know why everything came close to it. was 900 rands. These are just plain black shoes. I think I told you guys about them in my previous vlog. I think I did. These are just plain. They're giving evening thingy. I was, I was so undecided. This little glitter thingy. You guys see it? It's giving a bit of evening. But it's fine. They're just plain black shoes that I don't have anything like this that are open toys I told you guys so as long as I have them and they're quite reasonable like just under 200 rands and they're quite comfortable guys I can't believe they're from Mr. Price they are very 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 comfy sorry guys I don't know why I put you guys there because the lighting hey yeah, the lighting is so harsh in this house and I'm trying to position you guys that yeah the lighting is harsh in this house but I hope you guys saw these shoes nicely ne? there they are but anyway guys i was also not able to do my lashes my lash tech's child is sick she didn't mention to me that the child was sick she said she's taking the child to bar i assumed it's like a routine checkup or something you know and i felt so bad i must actually message her and yeah i just wanted i was hoping to kill everything today everything that I do today I don't want to do anything tomorrow um, even the makeup appointment just came you know by unplanned <laughs> unplanned you guys so yeah that's what I got from Mr. Price I don't know how everything got to almost a thousand rands I'm still so shook and I didn't take um, um, neither of the either of the dresses I didn't take either of the dresses because I was on the phone with my sister and, and I was asking her for her, her opinion. So the first dress with the one shoulder off, it is the, the most affordable. It's so cute, you guys. But it's from the Foshini Young side, the teen side. So I, I, I got it in a size large because the medium is too short. It fits nicely, but it's too short. The large doesn't fit, like doesn't grab my waist nicely but at least it's not short but i was saying to my sister that considering that it's a work event i think it's too short and i don't like that the other dress fits nicely and it's not too short but i don't know if it's going to work for this event you guys because remember it's an all watch event but it's an evening event it's, it's like smart casual it's not like formal like last year like glitter and glam not glitter and glam but it's not like a that like the theme we had last year so this is almost like smart casual so i'm trying to keep it you know so i don't know if that dress is gonna work for that event so that's why i also didn't take that dress but also that dress is like 900 is it eight or 900 800 rent which is like crazy guys i don't know what is going on with the, with the, with the, with the prizes in this country insanity it's really insane <laughs> Oh my gosh it's really really insane so that's why i need you guys to please watch the ads don't skip the ads guys so youtube can pay me so you know i can supplement my income <laughs> i would appreciate that a lot but i'm also here to close off this vlog you guys i'm gonna start a new one tomorrow so that yeah we keep the ball rolling so if you have watched up until this far you have no choice but to like the video so please click like it definitely does help my channel to grow and to my oldies 
thank you so much you guys for your love your loyalty your support and everything else in between if you're new on the channel please make sure that you don't leave without subscribing to the channel and join the nice again family they're cool family okay and everyone please remember to share this video on your socials with your friends and everybody else please share guys on your whatsapp stories you don't know who might love this content you know on your facebook stories everywhere please share and uh do leave me a comment on the comment section down below i definitely definitely do respond to all of my comments and make sure that your notification bell is on so that you don't miss any of my new uploads i'll see you guys on my next one thank you so much for watching and i love you guys so much bye